Okay, this short session is all about back mobility, a little bit of glute activation. So this one is quite an easy session, so you can squeeze this one in if you're feeling like you're just a little bit stuck and you want a little bit of movement for your back and a little bit of activation for the back side of your body. So we're gonna start with some roll downs. So start with your feet about hip distance apart. And remember, you want your feet to be underneath your sitting bones. So if you push your fingers up into your bum, you should feel those bony bits here. Sorry, you get a really nice view of my bottom here. But you should feel those bony bits and you want your heels to be in line with those bony bits of your bum there. So it's not this bit of your hips that we're talking about. Good, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see a little bit better about what I'm doing. Slide your shoulders back and down. Pull your tummy in just a little bit. So in and up, take an inhale. Exhale, nod your chin. Pull your tummy in a bit more. Have a little bend in your knees and then fold forwards through your spine coming all the way down to wherever you feel like it comes to a natural stop. So you might be up here, that's fine. You might be further down. Wherever is a natural stop for you, that's where you're gonna hang out. From there, let everything go heavy. So very consciously relax down through your shoulders and your neck. Take an inhale, exhale, pull your tummy in. Keep that rounded shape. Keep your tailbone tucked under as you come back up to the top. Let your head float up last. Do two more. Inhale there. Exhale, nod. Pull your tummy in. Try to keep your hips really still. You might even want to place your hands on your hips and let your back do all the bending to start with. You might feel a bit of a pulling sensation in your bum. When your back can't bend anymore, then let your hips fold forwards over your thighs. Come all the way down. You might get a little bit further if you do it that way. Knees are still soft. Consciously relax. Take an inhale, exhale, pull your tummy in, keep that tailbone tucked under, stack your vertebra very deliberately one on top of the other as you come up, head comes up last, last one, inhale there, exhale, nod, pull your tummy in, fold through your spine, hips stay upright, come all the way down, good, hold it in that position there. Let everything go heavy. I'm just going to adjust my camera angle. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale, pull your tummy in and roll your way back up to the top. We need to come all the way down onto the mat now. So we've got one last roll down. Take an inhale. Exhale, nod your chin. Pull your tummy in. Fold forwards. And then when you reach the bottom, you're going to take a bend in your knees and come down into a four-point kneeling position. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Roll your shoulders back and down. From here, you're just going to arch your back away from the mat. We're going into cat-cow. Pull your tummy up towards your spine and then reverse that. Sink your lower back down. Poke your tailbone up. Inhale there. Exhale, arch. Inhale, sink. Exhale, arch. Inhale, sink. So just flow through this in your own time. You might want to hold it in that stretched position or you might just want to let it flow. So you're not cranking your head up to look above you. As you sink your lower back down, you're just looking at the point just in front of your hands or at the front of your mat. Just two more. Come to rest in the middle there. Thread the needle now. So take one hand, pass it behind the other one. Let your shoulder drop all the way down to the mat. You can rest your head down too if you want. And then unthread that hand. Reach all the way up to the ceiling. Really force this standing hand down into the mat. And thread. We've got three each side. So getting some nice rotation through your upper back here. Last one. So you choose what speed you do this on. You could always change the speed on the video actually to one and a half times or two times the speed if you want to flow through a bit more quickly. Swap to the other side, drop your shoulder down, thread that needle, unthread, reach up to the ceiling. So this is the routine I used to do when my back got really bad. It's no longer <laughs> a bad back, but it's still do a lot of Pilates. But I spent years with a really stuck back and this is what I came to these routines here. Good, reaching all the way up and rest your hand down there. We're going into a down dog now. So you want your hands underneath your shoulders, shoulder blades down your back, tuck your toes under, send your hips up to the sky. 
push your heels down towards the mat. Don't worry if your heels don't reach down. It doesn't matter as long as you feel a little bit of a stretch through the back of your legs. And then we're just going to pedal your feet. So lift and lower alternate heels. Get a stretch through your hamstrings, into your Achilles, in your calves. Hold it there. See if you can take a tiny step in, half a foot in, and see if you can get your heels a little bit closer to the floor there. Good, bring your knees down. Come into a seated position. And then come all the way down onto your back in a lying position. From here, we're just gonna bring your feet together, bend in the knees, knees together, arms in a T, and just rock your knees from side to side. Keep your tummy switched on here. This is not the time to let your tummy relax. You're gonna control your legs with a little bit of abdominal strength here, protecting your back. Let your shoulders relax and your jaw relax. Get a little bit of lower back mobility. We did upper back when we did that thread the needle. Now we're looking at lower back. Bring your knees down to rest on one side. Take a look in the opposite direction. If you want a bit more of a stretch in your chest, you can bring your arms up to a Y position. I quite like this. It stretches through your pecs a bit more. Bring your hands back to a T, looking straight up, draw your knees back to the center and then over to the other side. Remember to be using your tummy muscles to do that, making them switch on and bring your arms back up to that Y position. Take a look in the opposite direction. Hands back to a T. Draw your tummy in to bring your knees back to center. Arms down by your sides. Now separate your feet so there's a gap between your feet and walk your feet back towards your bum. We're going straight into a bridge. So inhale there. Exhale, flatten your back. Tip your pelvis up and peel your spine off the mat. Reach your hips all the way up into a bridge. Hold it there. Think about big squeeze through your bum. Send your knees forwards towards your toes. But you want to keep your ribs down. So there's a real temptation to push up through your chest and push down through your arms. You want to keep your ribs down. So imagine that there's a connection between your hips and your lowest rib. You want to keep that nice, strong connection here. Take an inhale. Exhale, soften through your jaw, soften through your ribs. Slowly melt down. Let's do two more like that. Inhale there. Exhale, peel up. Reach the top. Hips come up, but ribs stay down. Inhale there. Exhale, soften through your chest and melt back down, vertebra by vertebra. So if you don't want to do this whole routine, I would recommend doing these bridges every single day if you've got a stuck back. Good, coming back up to the top. Take an inhale, exhale, lower back down. And if you can't bring your hips all the way up, that's fine. You could just turn it into pelvic tilt. So literally just tucking your tailbone under, lifting your, your tailbone off and then releasing, lifting your tailbone off and then releasing. Okay, we're going to make it harder now. So peel back up to the top. Big squeeze of your bum at the top. We're going to try and activate through each side now. So both bum cheeks are squeezing. Can you see if you can relax down through one side and squeeze it back up? Relax down through the other side and squeeze it back up. This is hard. So sometimes we have dead butt syndrome. <laughs> I'm sure it's not called that medically, but when your glute just doesn't want to fire and we're just trying to fire it up here you might find that both bum cheeks squeeze when you're trying to just do one you might find it really difficult to relax one or relax both maybe but over time we should get this activated so squeeze release release squeeze as you release your hip will drop slightly and then squeeze it back up and release and squeeze just one more each side and release and squeeze and melt back down there. We're coming up for one more progression here. So inhale at the bottom, exhale, peel up. Big squeeze, both bum cheeks, ribs down, hips up. See if you can float one leg up to tabletop. This is optional. Now you're gonna lower your hips to halfway and drive up, lower and drive. So hopefully that glute is working because we just did that squeeze and release to activate it. Last one, replace that foot. Reset your bridge, squeeze your bum, other leg up to tabletop, 
lower and left and lower and left. This is my dodgy side. My bum cheek does not want to squeeze on this side. Last two. Last one. Replace that foot there. Reset your bridge. Lower back down. We're just going to do one little exercise for your core, seeing as we're down here. So walk your feet slightly away. Tilt your pelvis backwards and forwards. Come to rest in the center there. We're going into scissors. So arms down by your sides. Float one leg up to tabletop. You want to imagine that you're bringing your lowest rib down towards your hip again. So just a tiny little flattening down of your ribs, pulling your tummy in, and then float the second leg up to tabletop. Keeping this angle here at your knee. Tap your foot down, pick it back up. Tap your foot down, pick it back up. Try to be really precise with this. So when your leg comes back up, you want your knee to end up over your hip. Your shins should be running parallel with the mat when your legs are up in that tabletop position. Relax down through your shoulders. Scoop your tummy into the spine, up to the ribs. If you want to make it harder, you can tap your foot further away. If you want to make it easier, you could tap your foot closer to your bum. Or you could bring one foot down and you can do single leg taps. Just swap over when you get to about six. Keep that tummy on. Last four. Three, two, one. Lower your legs under control. Stretch out through your legs. Bring your arms overhead. Full body stretch. Let your feet flop out to wherever they want to go. Then bring your arms back down by your sides. Take a bend in your legs. You're going to float one leg up to tabletop. Then straighten out through the other leg. You're going to hold on the outside of your knee and pull it across your body. Come into a twisty lower back stretch. It's, I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> Supine twist, I think. Something like that. Bring the other arm out to the side. Stretch through your chest. And then you can play with the height of this knee. So the more you bring your knee upwards towards your chest, the more you'll feel that stretch in your bum. Bring your arm back down by your side. Bring your legs back to centre. Take that bend in your legs so you protect your back. Float the other leg up to tabletop. First leg goes straight. Hold onto the outside of your knee. Draw it across. Bring the other arm out to a T. You can take a look in the opposite direction. Get that stretch through your lower back and your bum. And then again, you can play with the height of your knee. So the more I'm bringing my knee up this way, the more stretch I'm getting in my bum. That's too high for me. And the less stretch you get in your bum, the more you straighten that leg. Relax through your shoulders. Come back to centre there. Rock onto your side. Push yourself up to seated. And you are all done. Well done.